Greetings and salutations, friends. <laughs> Welcome to Power Washing Simulator. <laughs> Not a sentence I'd imagine I'd be uttering, but uh, here we are. Square uh, Enix sent me this... Uh, did you not finish up on your dumbass video game? Sent me this one. And I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued, if nothing else. So I decided, okay, let's play Power Watching Simulator for 40k. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong indeed? Power Washing. Apparently, this, this is like one of those popular things that streamers do. Um, I wouldn't know, but here we are. This is the 40k DLC we will be playing today, of course, as soon as I get my windows lined up uh, where I want them to be. There we go. We'll start. Uh, I apparently get paid 200 bucks to clean the, the land rater. Good. Wonderful. Before we even get started today, too, Commander CTC, greetings, Arch. Had this thought while playing Helldivers 2, I think Hectires 2, blame YouTube, and the Star Trek series are kind of similar in some aspects. I suppose so. I have a. Ooh, hi. Oh, that's. I was kind of hoping that would move, but it, it wouldn't. Oh, no, for ten dollars. Finally, I can play as a servitor. That is. Big. I do like that they've got the. I do like that they've got the scale. Mm, actually, it should be bigger. Yeah, no, that is that is big, but this should be bigger. Like, imagine a space marine coming out of this. He's gonna need to <laughs> really bend over, which uh, makes for a. Um, I can rotate the nozzle, which makes for perhaps a less than ideal exit. Uh. Extra long extension, long, short extension, non stubby gun. Nozzle. Uh, Chris, now in front of water, press a good balance between air for effective pressure. Might find one that's for pressure. Soap nozzle. Right. I know nothing about any of this, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Is that Nurgle's rot covering the hull? It does kind of look like it. Can I power wash? I can! I can power wash Nurgle rot. Interesting. For some reason, I didn't expect that. Uh, what about the wide one? Uh, better. Is that good enough? Okay, that maybe is a bit much. Or is it? Uh, maybe. I have I have lost. I feel like that doesn't get it clean enough, though. <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry. I can I can see how this is very, I can see how this is remarkably zen in a weird way. I can I can absolutely can see it. All right, let's clean the tracks off. Lovely, lovely. Is this incredibly loud? Can you hear anything? Let me just look at the. Oh, uh, it's not incredibly loud. It's fine. See, I've always been mildly drawn towards these kinds of games. That is kind of loud. Let me. Uh, is there? There's no. There's, there's no. There's no. There's no. No. Of course. Why would there be? Why? Why would there be options? There we go. There are the options. Right. Make things slightly less incredibly loud. Uh, audio. There. That's a bit better. I've always been mildly drawn towards these games, just because it there is definitely something zen about this. I remember playing a, uh, a tank mechanic simulator absolute ages and ages and ages ago, and finding that mildly entertaining. The only problem with that one is it didn't have like a good like proper career style mode, so you basically just like picked a vehicle and then you did that vehicle, and then you were kind of like done, and it didn't give you a whole lot of reason to actually keep doing anything, you know? How did I change the muzzle? Oh, that's how I changed the muzzle. 
I am amazed by the fact that this power washer can clean off Nurgle's rot this easily. I feel like the Sisters of Mercy might, uh, might be interested in this sort of technology for their own experiments. Battle Sisters come back home from a long day of purging, stained in all the manners of goop of the enemy. Needs a quick rinse? Well, just line the sisters up against the wall and give them the power washer. And you can add in a little bit of, you know, moral reinforcements for the, um, for the guardsmen at the same time, you know. Wet sisters contest, basically. It might not necessarily be holy, but it certainly will get the job done. <laughs> at the same time, though, I also... I also gotta say, I'm very much so wondering if this joke hasn't gone a little bit too far. Like, just in its entirety. I remember. I remember a time. A time now long past. Long lost to general memory. Is this... How do I know if anything's done, actually? Apparently not have, by doing that. Lost. Shit. Assault, hamp... Ramp. Metal. Clean. 3%. Do I have, like, different things? <gasps> Am I doing something right? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. I don't actually know. Whether or not the joke has gone too far... 40k used to be a very serious setting. A very serious setting, in fact. After being a bit of a bit more of a... Oh, I'll just move, say. Oh, of course. I mean, it's blue. I suppose it could have been, what, the Marines malevolent there for a little bit? Or, um... No, Nova Marines. Nova Marines. They're blue and white, but... Of course, it's the Smurfs. It's always the Smurfs. Everything is always the Smurfs. God, I hate the Smurfs. They used to sell, um... Like other forms of merchandise too, mind you. Like uh, bolter shells on a twine, for example, which was like, hey, have this, it's kind of cool. And that was fair and fine enough, no real problems with it, of course. Then they started selling stuff like bathrobes, and they were very cringe. I was like, okay, that is very cringe. But I suppose that too is fair enough in its own weirdly twisted way. And now we have 40k Funko Pops, and um, I wonder if we need 40k Funko Pops. I'm not sure. I'm not convinced, honestly, if we need 40k Funko Pops. I'm not sure if we need 40k Power Wash Simulator either. Although I do appreciate this far more than the Funko Pops, honestly. A uh, lot of possible. Wow, a game Sargon <laughs> would be good at. Actually, just as I started this up, Sargon messaged me too. And literally said, like, as interesting as Power Wash Simulator is, would you like to play some Hell Divers? I might play spell dives with him later. I have, so, I have Kestrel lost. Power Wash. Shit. Slim is better with friends. Slim? Sim, I guess. Where's Kyle? Oh, you know, Kyle's more fond of being Power Wash than doing the Power Washing. It's always been Kyle's dream to be Power Washed by a large group of burly men taking turns, really hosing him down. Preferably on some sort of a beach, I'd imagine. Yeah. I pretty much imagine that's more or less what he dreams of at night. Oof. Terrible, terrible filthy mind on that little boy. Disgusting, truly. I'm still not sure if I'm doing this correctly, but... The little bar thingy is filling, so I'm presuming I'm doing something right. Even if I'm not sure what, or why, or how. I probably don't need to use the absolute harshest thing on everything. There. Is that good? Probably. This one seems kind of worthless, if I have to be honest. Or maybe... Okay. No, no, it cleans... Well, sort of. It cleans Fire, sort of. <laughs> oh, this is way better. Um. 
Okay, so you, you kind of need, like, different nozzles for different degrees of filth. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cute. I wonder how many ASMR fetish channels this has spawned. Like, imagine if you just search, like, Power Watch YouTube in amongst all of the gay pornography, you'll come up with entire channels that is just this sound repeated for a very long period of time. Presumably with a car or something, I'd imagine. That's a... Okay, that's a bit much. Go away, Stain! Thank you. For a second there, I thought I'd maybe... Ooh, that's a soap... I keep his soap nice and... Maybe I should have applied the soap first. I feel like I should have applied the soap first. Wait. Does this just, like, clean better or something? Why does this just clean better? Am I- am I confused? I might be confused. But I do have a limited amount of it, so it's probably just a limited resource. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Reload. Guidance. Complete your work, tech priest. I'm working on it. Jesus Christ. Wait, do I have a limited amount of time? Because that could be a problem, seeing as I was waffling half the time. Bubble, 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 bubble. Does this... I bet you this costs money or something, and I'm currently just blasting away all of my income. Uh, you were given $200 to clean this tank, and you used $500 worth of soap. Fuck's wrong with you? I have, I have lost. That's a very, 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 very good question. But, I like this noise. It makes these little bubbly noises in my head. Oh. What was that? Muller Podcast says, Funko Pops are for invalids and redditors. That is more or less correct, yes. Oh, spray, 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 spray. This guy seem to? I wish that thing would just follow me. He's like <laughs> running around on his little legs. I'm like, hello, master. May I help? Okay, well, I've used up all of that now. Well, that seems useless. They've given me all of these tools. I just don't know how to use any of them yet. Actually, you, come here. <gasps> oh. Oh, well, I, I guess that makes it easier. Thank you. Oh. This nozzle is too long. There. Much better. There you go. See, that's how you do. And yes, correct. Funko Pops is for invalids and redditors. It absolutely is. Like, the entire Funko Pop brand, you've got to be mildly... I heard it. I earned 25 cents! Yay! I don't know why, but I, I did. That's... I'm glad. Thank you, video game. But yes, it really is. Like, you've got to be a little bit of an invalid to even consider, like, a cooperative agreement with Funko Pop, honestly. Like, Funko Pop is like a marketing vampire, is what Funko Pop is. It literally... Thanks. It literally takes other people's, like, stuff and IPs and stuff, and just turns them into a Funko Pop. And it's, it's mildly recognizable for what it was, but it is far more recognizable as a Funko Pop. It's kind of remarkably clever in a way, and remarkably awful in another way. Like, it just takes all of the stuff you made and just kind of sucks... Pickups sucks the relevance right out of it. Like, eh. I've taken over your thing now. How do you feel? Angry, I'd imagine. A little bit on the other side, too. God. Gonna need the heavy duty to know the one. To augment ritual fervor, a brief account of the Land Raiders' recent deployment will be forthcoming. Yay! 
do tell me the Power Wash Simulator lore video game. How am I supposed to? Ah, come here. Service guarantees citizenship. I do wish this would just follow me around the workshop. Pondu says, you are certainly not doing it right. Not enough incense. <laughs> that is true. There's not enough I incense have, here. I have lost. Oh, there's a little bit of Nurgle's rot there, too. Disgusting. On the power couplings there. Want to get rid of that? Right. Is this clean now? No. Apparently not. Get in there. You have the filth out. There you go. The dirt. What do you mean, dirt? Is my nozzle not nozzling hard enough? I feel like I should have saved the, uh... The, 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 uh... The, 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 uh... Soap! for this. You know, all of the dumb little finicky things. Aim mode? <gasps> Ooh! Okay, that's kind of cute. Go away, go away, go away, dirt, dirt. Sandoom has been meant for three months. Imagine the power washer surfs after they finished are cleaned themselves by Holy Prometheum. Can't risk the spread of corruption on the soul. That probably would actually... Oh, I can clean those too. That probably would actually be a good idea, everything considered. Just for the simple reason that I am cleaning off literal Nurgle rot here. You'd think that would probably be pretty, pretty terrible, honestly. I feel like I'm using, like, Dr. Freeze's freeze gun half the time. Clearly enough. This aiming mode is actually brilliant. Go away, filthy dirt. Go away. Clean, 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 clean. Gosh. How did the Battle Brothers get you so filthy, so dirty, and worked up full of smudge? Gooey things. Probably by firing the weapon, I'd imagine. <laughs> I, I imagine the servitor gets pissed off every time they return. <laughs> it's, it's all dirty. Like, why did you make it dirty again? Just finish cleaning it. Well, we're sorry, but... No, there was a Tyranid invasion. We had to, like, kill all of the damn Tyranids that were eating people on the planet. It's like, why couldn't you just let them eat them? There are far more base servitors than there are power washers in this world, you must understand. John Smith says, can you do live book readings? Love your voice. Book readings, good God. Like, I start getting exhausted from reading, um... Uh, from reading in Rogue Trader for a few hours, I am deeply impressed by the people who do, like, full, like, voice acting things of reading books. Like, the people who make the, uh, the audiobooks, for example. And some of them are really good voice actors, too. Like, really good voice actors that manage to put on different voices for every character and manage to keep them all consistent. And they're doing this for, like, 12, 13 hour long books. I would ill of myself. Very quickly, I think. Just straight up. A couple hours later. Nope, it's a poker type. I wonder if they do all of that in, like, one sitting. They can't. They I can't have, possibly. I have lost. Yet at the same time, they have such perfect cadence and such perfect timber throughout that it sounds like they're just reading you the entire book fucking beginning to end. God, yeah, I am, I am very, very, uh, respectful and appreciative of that work and that art form. Nice and clean. 
I think. Oh, sort of. <clears throat> Every time I think something is nice and clean, I, I, t I press the show me the dirt button, and then I'm immediately dissuaded. Better. How exactly did you manage to get Nurgle's rot on the fucking radar dish? What, did you disembowel a fucking greater unclean one with this goddamn tank somehow? Did you just ram it into its vulva? Full speed. My god. Captain Titus, it's a greater demon of Nurgle. Our firepower is merely glancing off its enormous, disgusting hide. What do we do? Full speed ahead, brothers. Full speed. But, Captain, that'll bring us directly into its gaping ass. I know. Rev the engines when you're in, brother. Oh. It seems the only worthwhile explanation, and yet I'd rather not think too deeply on it. A little missile launcher there. Why won't you give me the ding? Isn't that a holy icon? No. I feel remarkably underpaid for this. I've earned a dollar twenty-five so far, and that's it. This is not very profitable. I must. Why would you leave the weapon in there? Like, I mean, sure, it's. it's I'm. I'm just resuming it's. You know, not armed. For obvious reason, seeing as I'm shooting it with a fucking power washer at the moment, but why wouldn't you take that out? It's a fucking missile, goddammit! Can't help me. Right, don't worry about this machine spirit, I'm just, you know, blasting water directly into your face, basically. I'm sure you don't mind. I'm sure this is fine by you as well. And advice, I know you once said new law was bad, yet it is undeniably peak. Yet this is undeniably peak. So is this undeniably peak? Uh. Right, time to kill a missile launcher. You must be clean by now, surely. How are you not clean? There, now, sh no, still not clean. How are you not clean yet? You clean now? No. Fine. You don't want to be clean? Fuck you. What I need is like a washing hand grenade. That's what I require. Just blast all the filth off immediately. Also, I'm wondering if the soap did anything, because I feel like the soap didn't really help. Maybe I was supposed to, you know, combine the soap with something else. Ah, water, maybe. It seems a novel idea to combine soap with water, and yet... Perhaps I shall try it next time. On the off chance that there's something in that combination. Who knows? I've heard crazier ideas in my life. Mrs. Mr. Pensy says, Hey Art, what's your op opinion on Big E destiny to become the Dark King? Is it a good idea, a bad idea? Should GW expand on it more, or would that bring a definitive end to 40k? I think that would bring a definitive end to 40k, honestly, because how how will the Imperium exist if the Emperor isn't, you know, actively pro-Imperium and remain reigning, remaining on his nice golden chair, etc.? I haven't read up here much about the, uh, the new lore again about what they're trying to do with the Emperor. But I'm presuming they're... Ooh, third company, eh? I'm presuming they're just trying to make him into a villain at this point, honestly. 
And the villain emperor doesn't really work in a universe that literally relies on the emperor's benevolence to continue to exist. But I'm sure the average uh, current year Games Workshop writer doesn't necessarily give a fuck about that. Is it my imagination or is this hose wider somehow? Hmm. There we go, just pour some water down into the engine there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I have, I have lost. Oh, it does change it. Okay, so that gives like, ah. Right, I knew there was a point in these attachments. I was just struggling to figure out exactly what it was. And Noon says, Hey Art, have you ever seen the fanfic series Star Wars vs. 40K? Uh, by a fan with too much time, it's really good and I highly recommend it. People keep recommending it to me, so I'm presuming it is actually highly good, but no, I have not seen it. Uh, mostly because I just don't watch YouTube anymore. Virtually at all, because I don't really have time. The only YouTube I watch is, yes. like... Either it's um, stuff like the Lotus Eaters, because I can just put that on in the background, and, you know, it's uh, Sargon stuff, so I watch that. Or Dev, for example, uh, when he waffles on about communism, and how communism is totally the answer to basically every solution, and how we should just kind of trust the state and the government, no matter what. No matter what at all. Because that I can just put on in the background if I'm doing something else, and I'll be like, eh, Dev, you fucking communist, you. And giggle happily to myself, and feel a little bit superior by the fact that I don't fillet the state with every second word. You know? That's nice. Get out of fucking engine! I've expected little nerglings to pop up and try to eat me. I saw this game was labeled as a shooter on... S Name with help. Data record pilot. Is that it? Oh, thank you. Uh, illuminating. I saw this being labeled as a shooter on Steam, and I'm not sure if I believe that. Oh, that wasn't clear. I don't know if this really fulfills the uh, requirements of a shooter. I mean, it does have a gun of sorts, and you are shooting of sorts. But I feel like a shooter requires the presence of something, you know, hostile. Or something. Something aggressive. Something trying to end your life and existence. Rather than dirt. I'm sure dirt isn't nice either, of course. But I still don't feel that it presents a sufficient danger for it to be called a shooter. Perhaps that's just my own puritanical ways. There we go. Blink, blink. Right, the top is looking fairly schnazzy now. 62% clean. Right, let's actually... Uh... Get the track guards a little another go. Can I crawl under it? No? Okay. That's somebody else's job then. There you are. Mr. Twisted Frenzy says, Have you seen the Amber King lore video on Lionel Johnson? It is over three hours long, but the voice acting atmosphere is amazing. It really made me love the lion by the end of it. A three hour lore video on the lion? Sounds like he deserves it. Hmm. I have not, no. Again, I don't watch anywhere near enough YouTube. See... I was kind of thinking of doing, uh, like, the really big stuff on the Primarchs and the, uh, the Legions, I have, but... I have lost... Shit. God, you, you just, you need to go through, like, the entirety of the Horus Heresy, whilst basically taking notes all along the way to do it. And I even was doing that. I have documents upon documents of uh, lore notes from the Horus Heresy, but Jesus, it would take so long to go through it all and remember it all and oh no just nope 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 don't want it don't want it okay 
It's time to move on to do pike and shot lore, yes. Pike and shot's really cute. I reread a book on the, uh, the Duke of Orange the other day. The Duke of Orange was the uh, Dutch revolutionary, practically, that re reinvented damn near the entirety of warfare back then. Very impressive fella, despite the fact that he's Dutch, of course, which takes a lot out of him, as far as I'm concerned. But still, the Duke of Orange was a remarkable person. Especially considering you had to deal with, you know, Dutch people. I can only imagine how difficult it must have been to create a decent war machine out of the Dutch. It must have been a damn near impossible task, and yet he did succeed, slowly but surely. I wish the dirt was slightly more visible. There. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Back out of aiming mode. No, I didn't mean to fall off. Uh, Mecha Swordsman. It's peak because mundane day-to-day -day stuff like this in the setting can be very interesting in the setting, but are neglected in some writing. Uh, some writing. Neglected in all writing, I'd say. I mean, I can certainly see the appeal. It is nice and zen, isn't it? Just cleaning it off. I think this is part of the appeal of games that are kind of work, you know, but it's, it's completely different work, and it might be work that you actually enjoy far more than your actual work. Did I use it? Yeah, I did. What the fuck is the point of this thing? I don't know. It's like a Euro Truck Simulator, right? That is remarkably popular. Like, people play the shit out of that game, like, hundreds and hundreds of hours just driving trucks across Europe, delivering food and goods and stuff, and I'm just like, why? Isn't that basically just a second source of employment? It's like, yeah, but it's relaxing. Kind of like Eve. Eve 2 is that. There's a certain kind of genre that is just, like, employment but fun. Oh, oh god, train simulator games. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, train simulator games. You should look up some of the train simulator games on Steam one day. They have, like, I, I, I shit you not, like, thousands of dollars of fucking DLC. Like, absurd. And they, they take, like, every single train that has ever fucking existed, it seems like. Everything from coal locomotives to bullet trains, and they just... They recreate them in the I have, I have lost. most minute, ridiculous degree of details, down to the buttons and the levers and everything. Out all things in the Aquila. We gotta take our time with the Aquila. The Aquila is obviously very important. It is the Aquila after all. And then, just to take it one step further, they recreate every fucking meter of a railway. It's like, Jesus Christ. That's some autism right there. And hey, I can understand it if you're doing it for. See, that's the thing, isn't it? I was about to say, I can understand that if you're doing it for, like, IL-2 or something. You're doing, like, warplanes or tanks, etc. Because that's cool, but trains? Trains are cringe. And that's exactly the thing. I think warplanes are cool, they think trains are cool. Oh, that was a lot dirtier than I thought it was, actually. I kind of just wish I could keep the dirt layer on forever. Because it makes it easier to see. I wonder if this weird-ass attachment exists in real life. Uh, have I not cleaned you enough? Okay, hold on. We need the zero degree nozzle for this belly. In between the wings. Oh, 
Rank it nice and shiny. Nice and sparkly. There we go. Only 75 cents for the Aquila, really? I feel like the Aquila would be worth more than that. You know, being the Aquila at all. Paris is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> 69%. God damn scorch marks. How dare you. God, even the steps are dirty. You'd think the Space Marines would clean their feet before stepping on their, their lovely little battle tank here, but no, no. There are no did you miss my first tube chat, or was it ignored? Uh, <laughs> probably both. Hold on. Oh, it scrolled. It, it did indeed scroll. Hello. Rever who knows? Have you read the isekai where the hero got a passive ability that seduces wives by mistakes? I have, actually, yes. I feel like I should be saying no to that just to keep my, like, you know, rep intact. But no, I have actually, I have actually read to that. In fact, there are multiple ones that do that now because it, uh, it apparently took off quite a bit. I think I've spotted at least three isekais now. Uh, where their, the dude's superpower is, uh... Seducing MILFs, specifically married MILFs. And then he takes the MILFs on a journey to save their husbands whilst constantly fucking them, which is is a weird story, the likes of which you can only really see in manga. Or particularly smutty hiccups western cartoons, I guess. I don't know, I feel like you couldn't see that in western cartoons no matter how smutty. It's like some things are sacred, you know? But not to the Japanese. Not to the Japanese. To the Japanese, nothing is sacred. Nothing. Never will be. Cannot be. By definition, in fact. Oh. Burn Burnson, what are you spraying at the vehicle? Water? Sand? Promethium? Blessed Ungent? Sororita's Juice? Sororita's Juice, I would imagine. I mean, the Grey Knights had a whole thing about Sororita's Juice for a long time, keeping them pure, so... If you really want to get this vehicle nice and clean, I would imagine it's just gallons and gallons of Sororita's juice. Milked forth by each other, I guess. Every night before morning mass, the Sororitas get together and produce the required liters of cleaning fluid. Then cover themselves and their weapons in it, so that they are ready to go out and purge the enemy yet again. Service guaranteed citizenship. God, even the steps are filthy. God damn. Fucking space marines, I tell ya. Can't even wash off their fucking feet first. Oof. Disgusting. Another pittance. God, I hope food is cheap in this universe, otherwise I'm gonna be a, a very hungry servitor after all of this. Frightfully hungry. Oh, oh. I was about to get stuck there. Does that... Kind of. It just requires, like, more passes. Okay, that's nice. Mula Potke, Funko Pops are for invalids and Redditors. That one I remember. So, okay, that was before it scrolled. Good to know. Sven Hallgren, that is probably liquefied turdid you're cleaning off. Nurgle's rot would eat into the metal and leave significant damage even after cleansing with blessed water and or promethium. I agree, it really should, but at the same time, it's green. I feel like green is more of a... It's more of a Nurgle thing, really, than a Tyranid goop thing. But then again, what do I know? I'm no Magos biologist, right? I 
And I feel like the vehicle would have would need more like scratches and stuff if it was fighting tyranids. Whee. Whee. Filth be gone. I still want the cleaning hand grenade though, if I'm to be entirely honest. Hold on. I know what to do here. Actually, no. I know what to do here. Actually, no. I know what. To Fuck. I have. Where I was have the lost. one that made like the the wobbly the like wobbly thing? You gotta help me. I don't know where it is anymore. Now you may scroll YouTube, silly YouTube. Where was I? There. Blight Hand 17. Hail Arch Christ, our Lord and Savior. Scrub it good, surf the Emperor expects. Clean, Land Raider. He does, unfortunately. Right, 78%. Getting there, getting there. Alfred B. 28. Finally, a game that depicts what your life in the military as a vehicle operator will be spent doing. Not untrue. Not untrue. See, once the spoiled ass pilots get all kinds of ground crew and stuff, the poor fuckers doing vehicle work, they often need to do a lot of this themselves. There were some fascinating records of uh, tankers during World War II, I remember. Um, they had, of course, like, mechanics crew, but the mechanic crew was usually shared amongst the entire, uh, like, battalion, regiment, or division in some cases, because they were getting really fucking short at them, and they were the end of the war, that had to look over hundreds of tanks. This was made even worse by the design of some of the German vehicles, which, uh, were created by engineers, shall we say. Uh, you know the, the German road wheels, you know, the you know, things that aren't actually on this at all, but the things that are back there, right? The giant wheels around, around the belts. Now, in many tank designs, they would have these rolled wheels separately, side by side. This was really good, because it meant that you could easily take them off and fit new ones. So if one got damaged, you'd just pop it off directly and you'd slap on a new one. Fantastic. But the problem was with this was that the weight distribution was decidedly inferior, because you were distributing the weight more limitedly over a more limited surface. Like, you, you could only have so many wheels because you need to fit all the wheels together in, in the belt, right? And so some German engineer, obviously, took a look at this and thought to himself, Ach, nein! This will not do! And so he designed interlocked we wheels, where one road wheel was behind the other road wheel. And then another road wheel was in front of that road wheel again. This allowed him to fit in more road wheels in the same length of belt, which allowed the vehicle to distribute its weight significantly better, allowing it way improved off-road capabilities and the ability to, you know, cross bridges, which Service was a bit of a problem with many of the German armored vehicles as they were just fucking retardedly goddamn heavy. Now, the problem with this is that if you were so unlucky, that one of the internal running wheels have, was I damaged, you would need to remove that running wheel and both the running wheels on either side of it to get at that running wheel, turning what was once a very simple operation into a three times as demanding operation. It took uh, a lot of time to fix that up. And seeing as the belts were, oh, you know, the sim single most vulnerable, least armored parts in the entire tanks, those belts broke a lot. And the running wheels broke a lot. In fact, the Russians started aiming at the running wheels with literally anything and everything, using anti-tank rifles, for example, to just shoot out the running wheels, or using their smaller, like, 37 mils, which wouldn't stand a chance against the tank itself, just to damage the belts, because it would just... Leave the tank stuck there for God only knows how long. The Germans didn't think it was particularly funny, but the Russians sure as fuck did. Not that the Russians didn't have their own share of engineering mishaps, of course. 
seeing as, at least with the German engineering, you know, the German engineers designed superior but extraordinarily complicated things that people could actually build. It was mostly just a, an enormous hassle for the crew at that point. Whereas the Russian engineers, they decide, designed incredibly complicated things that the engineers of the shop couldn't build. I do think the German shit was complicated, and it was, but the Russian shit was every bit as complicated on paper. As that the Russians couldn't really manage to build it properly. A lot of the Russian tanks were, um... Quite improvisatory when it comes to armor quality and the standards of wiring. One amusing little factoid about the T-34, for example. The T-34, amongst the Germans, became famous for the incredible bravery of its, uh, of its occupants, of its drivers and its fighting men. Because even after the tank was clearly knocked out, like, you know, smoke billowing out of the fucking hatches, fires, etc. Tank was dead as a doornail, it would still keep rolling towards the German positions. And the Germans were like, Jesus Christ, don't these Russians know when to quit? Fuck. In reality, um, it wasn't quite that laudable. What was actually happening was that the pedals inside of the T-34 were so close to the driver that if you killed the driver, he had nowhere to slump off to but onto the pedals, thereby holding the pedals down, thereby driving the tank directly forward in whatever direction it was heading initially. Not, uh, not as romantic as the Germans had thought, but still fascinating. Oh, filthy. Right, free aim mode. There you go. Becca Swordsman, it's peak mundane. Day-to-day -day stuff like this and setting can be a very interesting setting, but are neglected in some writing. That's where I left off. Okay, well, I've figured out where the YouTube scroll. That's nice. Counter structure says, for throne's sake, RTFM. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Explain yourself. Alfred B. 28 finally, a game that appears with life and military vehicles operator has been doing. I did read that one, too. And did you miss my first super chat or was it ignored? I've caught up now. God help me. No, don't scroll again. I just figured out where I was. Thank you. Oh. Filth. I wish you would just follow me. You know, right behind me. And then I could just press on you to make you stop moving. That would be great. I wouldn't need you 98% of the time. But when I do need you, it would be nice to just, you know, have you there. Kind of like mental support or something. Plus, having your little clicky body go after me like, click, 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 will make me feel like I'm not alone. Uh, not Charles says, Train simulator players are just a modern version of the boomers who like to collect highly detailed modern trains. I would not be surprised if there is some serious overlap between the two groupings. I would not be surprised at all. Because I can see it. Like, just like I obsess about, like, tanks and airplanes and stuff and stuff like that i imagine people do the exact same thing with trains like they know every little bit of minutiae and they can tell you dumb and funny stories about the trains like this train was designed by a particularly vile pedophile that's why there's a very small hatch directly behind the driver's seat you see for <laughs> cargo <laughs> or something along those lines <laughs> It's still in service today. Oh, why? Ah, uh, the British state's kind of poor at the moment, you know. They, they kind of just got to keep whatever traits they've got running. They don't have a choice anymore. This train was designed solely for left-handed drivers. Why? Because uh, the designer was left-handed and people didn't check the specifications, so he kind of just got away with it. Right, fair enough. That's a reason, I guess. Pray, spray, spray, and pray. Spray and pray is actually the perfect so term for this video game, isn't it? God, how did you manage to get goo in so 
fucking deeply. Honestly. How did you manage? Oh, God. Actually, does that work now? Uh, kind of, sort of, in a way. Ah, disgusting. Right, the closer the nozzle is, the better the pressure. But the further away, the better the coverage. Make you sense to. Right, what have I got left? 90%. I've got some fucking minutia somewhere, don't I? Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, inventory? I don't even have anything. From over there, I got excited to look for cleaning hand grenades, but there weren't any. Oh, there we go. There's some dirt still. Uh, short. No! Sand Doom says, Hey Arch, have you ever thought of having Count Dankula on the Arch guys? I'd love to see him on the podcast as I enjoy his videos. Uh, hmm. That's not a bad idea. I could probably get a hold of Dankula. Probably. I might give it a shot. Ben Sargon's here. Thanks, Sargon. I could just message the fucker. I do have him as a contact. But then again, you know how these people are. They never answer DMs. Oh. Oh, he was the rear of it that was still fucking filthy. Eee. Okay, well, fair enough. Is that one still filthy too? Sort of. Speaking of filthy, I need to watch Dune. The, uh, the second movie of Dune... It got advanced screenings the other day. I think it comes out like in a couple of days or something. Hmm. Service guaranteed citizenship. I feel like the first part of it was not actually very good at all. In fact, I felt like it was kind of ass. I don't have a lot of hope for Dune Part 2, if I'm to be entirely honest with you. How is this not cleaner? This this must be cleaner, surely. I've sprayed it with so much sister juice. I refuse to believe that this thing is not clean. More water into the engines. The brothers will thank me, even if they don't know it yet. The water needs to be runnier. Much runnier. Much runnier and cleanier. Oh, you're still filthy. Oh, God, I barely... I barely washed you, huh? Pansy Raid, can you hose down Catachin jungle twinks? I mean, in theory, yes. I don't know if it's in-game, however. But in theory, yes. There's nothing stopping you. Except for Catachan, I guess. And the twinks. I mean... Even a twink on Katachan is... Ooh, that kind of looks like a, you know, handprint. Even a twink on Katachan is likely to be a fairly nasty thing, honestly. I have, I have lost. Katachan twink devil. Alternatively, it's only po entirely possible that the Katachans themselves use the twink as cannon fodder and or bait. See that lesser barking toad over there? Yes. Touch it. It'll free up a path. Oh, I'm like on. Nice and clean as the last gun. 
I prefer this one. It's got more of a satisfying root to it. I do enjoy how they've actually named the parks, like Laz Canyon Swivel, for example. I bet you they bent the ear of some fucker at Games Workshop and went like, okay. What's this thing called? <laughs> and he's like, I don't fucking know. It's it's the the swivelly bit. Laz Cannon Swivel. Right. That one's clean, that one's clean. What's well, not clean? Last cannon armor is apparently not clean. Are you serious? I feel like it's pretty clean. Oh. What? That's not good. <laughs> I, I like how I can't use those. Ooh. Is there? No, there's something out here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? What does this do for me? Nothing. What's so fucking ever? Okay, great. I got excited. I expected there to be like a cleaning turret or there or something up there. But no, it was nothing. Adherent of Lady Columbia says, Arch, how would you subscribe the Danes in total? Subscribe. Su uh, subscribe. Subscribe the dates. I'm I'm I think I know the word you were trying to type before the autocorrect kicked in. Um, the problem is my brain has forgotten the word. And I'm trying to remember the word that I'm This is the funniest feeling I've ever had when it comes to language. Cause right now, I know the word he's thinking of, but I can't think of the word he's thinking of. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. I, I understand. I, I get the logic. I understand what he's trying to communicate. It's just that my brain has conveniently managed to forget how to communicate that idea to myself. Which is interesting. I don't know what kind of brain rot this is, but... Describe. That, that's the word. Describe. Describe. Yes. Got heavy bolter. You're filthy too. God help me. I can't get in there. There we go. God, I can only imagine what kind of monstrosity must have coomed all over this fucking vehicle to cover it so thoroughly. I have, I have lost. Jesus. The sheer amount of demon cum juice. Oof. Must have been a terrifying experience being inside of it at the time. Captain, sir, the monster. It just won't stop ejaculating on us. Uh, so long as it's not acidic, I guess we'll live. Oh, corrosive. I have, I have lost. Shit. Right. Describe the Danes. Um, hmm. Fat. Unhealthy. Ah, uh, greedy. No, I don't know about greedy. No, 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 I know about greedy. No, definitely greedy. Definitely greedy. Now, greedy in a good way, mind you, because they came up with a brilliant way to deter uh, uh, economic migration, where they declared that every immigrant that arrived in Denmark would only be able to keep, like, uh, what was it, like 100,000... So like 10,000 bucks, basically, or was it less, like a thousand bucks, maybe, uh, of property. And everything else would be confiscated. Basically making sure that if they were to go to Denmark, they would be poor as shit when doing so. A good idea, a good idea. I approve of it. How are you not clean? I'm confused by how you are not clean. I don't even see any more dirt on you. How are you not clean? Ah! I can't even... I can't even... There we go. I can't even get any other. Alright. Good. 94%. But fat is definitely the more, like, overarching one. 
fat and unhealthy. Like, the Danes have made pastries into breakfast, and I myself am a fan of pastries, of course. I don't mind a good pastry. In fact, I think I'm quite good at appreciating a good pastry, if I'm to be entirely honest with you. But even I don't eat pastries for breakfast. Yeah, that's a bit much. Like croissants or stuff. Like, yeah, let me just eat my breakfast, as the Dane. As he shoves a half bakery's worth of croissants down his little hole. Covered with butter, cheese, and ham, and all things fattening and massive. Washing it all down with an enormous jug of chocolate milk, probably. Ugh. Yeah. The Danes should certainly be treated with a certain degree of distaste. Not as much as the Swedes, mind you. Not as much as the Swedes. See, the benefits with the Danes is that they're basically just an enormous vacation colony for Norway. We've more or less colonized them at this point. The state of Denmark exists primarily to provide Norwegians with a place to go during the summer weeks. Poor Norwegians, mind you. Like, people like me don't go to Denmark. Jesus Christ, fuck no, it's awful. It's boring and it's uninteresting and it's basically just more Norway but flatter. Not to mention it's occupied by a lot of Danes that speak weird. But other people, like working class Norwegians go to Denmark. Yes, the working classes. Oof. If only there were fewer of them. If only their numbers were lessened. Perhaps through some sort of revolutionary holocaust. Who knows? And here in Lady Columbia, Arch, how would you subscribe to the Danes? I read that one. Oh god, don't, don't scroll. Help me. Don't scroll. YouTube is being dangerous today. Argray, hi Arch. There is bar next to part you are cleaning. There is bar next to part you are cleaning. You will catch only when the part is 100% clean. We'll blink and give ping. All the symbols were easiest part to clean, so that's why you get cash for just quick washing them off. Thank you. Thank you for the aid. Thank you for the tip. I'm going to move that window over there where I can keep an eye on it. There's, you know, says, is that the same MILF Isekai is the one where the MC is the only one in the world to attract women over 25, so men don't mind him taking their wives? No, that's another one. That's, that's yet another, uh, Isekai again. So there's another Isekai. Where everyone in the entire world is basically a pedophile, okay? Like, a woman is considered outdated, old, and an absolute granny at about 20. Which has some interesting connotations as to the sexual proclivities of the world's population, but details and details. And in this world is born a man who just absolutely loves MILFs. That's his, that is big fetish. MILFs, 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 MILFs. That's what he likes. And so he goes on some adventurings with the other party members, uh, and just basically treats them like children, because they are. The entire hero's party is like 15 or something. And eventually he gets kicked out of the party because of the usual tropes like we don't value you silly person we can do everything you do but better and then eventually they learn the lesson like oh he was taking care of all the boring administrative stuff and now we're hungry and starving and cold and wet and dumb etc you know the rift but he then moves on to not only seduce but cuckold every single one of the other heroes' fathers by stealing their mothers and fucking them. Which is, again, an interesting plot point that only really the Japanese could have come up with. Like, God help me, imagine that. You're sitting there in Japan, where you live, presumably, and you're thinking to yourself, okay. I have, I have lost. I need a new idea for a manga. I'm being outcompeted by all of those hot isekai thingies that have cat girls in them and little one of the anthro furries and shit. I need to get in on that, you think. But everyone has done all everything already. 
There's Nisekai with your fucking vending machine, there's Nisekai with your monsters, there's Nisekai with your slime, there's Nisekai with your orc, there's Nisekai with your fat ugly dude, there's Nisekai with your uh, just god, etc, etc. Everyone has done actually every last thing. What can I do to make myself unique and noticed? I know, chuckolding is a guy. And hey, I appreciate the effort. And it's a fitting topic for the stream as well. A nice filthy subject for a nice filthy stream. Somehow I feel like Square, uh, Square Enix didn't necessarily expect this to be the topic of today. <laughs> when they decided to send me a key for this. Hey, this guy does 40k content. He likes 40k. He'll be perfect to play Power Wash Simulator. Yes. He will. He'll be just ideal, Squeenix. So, back to the Japanese and their fetishes. Yep. The women, of course, are also sex-starved as mad, because why wouldn't they be? And haven't been touched in ages, despite all of them being unfathomably fit, massive titted women in their mid-twenties at most. And their men are just like, ah, oh, no, granny, yuck. And so he just builds himself a harem, and obviously as well, they are also ridiculously powerful magicians and fighters and everything, so then he can go off and kill dragons and shit, or have his harem of milf wives kill dragons. Again, just imagine writing the script for that, just hammering away at your typewriter like, yes, yes, this will make me a millionaire. And then he cucked them all, every last one of them, with their mothers. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. This, incidentally, is why I am firmly convinced that AI will eradicate humanity. Because only proper fetishists are capable of dreaming up the kind of mad nonsense that other proper fetishists are into. And hey, I suppose I can't judge too loudly. I read it! I found it fucking hilarious. Right, we must clean the Laz Cannon Pivot. There. Clean, clean Laz Cannon Pivot. Clean. Clean. There you go. Count Structor says, read in the description. Square Enix gave you a copy. You? I know! See, sometimes, for the weirdest of reasons, I get copies of things. And usually it's after something I actually like, because probably there's a fan of me in the company or something working surreptitiously. I know that's why I got sent a goodie bag from Mountain Blade ages ago. Uh, and the guy basically said, like, hey, dude, I love your stuff. I managed to sneak you onto the list. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Thank you. Have I cleaned that? Is that clean? No, that's not clean. Fuck you. Come on. Become clean, filth. Oh god, how, how, how do I get in there? Right, there's some over there, that, that's easier to clean. There we go. 97% progress is being made, ladies and gentlemen. I also got Anno uh, 1800 that way, and I love the shit out of Anno 1800. Anno 1800 is great. I cannot recommend that game enough, I genuinely can't. Especially now that it's on Steam with all of the DLC available, and it's constantly on sale. Like, if Anno 1800 isn't sale on sale right now, wait like a week and it probably will be. Definitely pick up Anno 1800. It is... It is an absolute instant classic. Like, Blue Bites? I think it's Blue Bite that made it. Blue Bite the Blights will never top themselves ever again with, eight, uh, with that game. Like, they, they actually unironically kind of fucked themselves with Anno 1800. It's such an incredibly good game with so much charm, so much wit, so much character, so much stuff to do, such an excellent execution that every game they make from now on now on will be compared to it and it will almost certainly not be a positive comparison in fact they they made um, they made a settlers game recently that was apparently absolute garbage i haven't played it but 
all of the reviews I saw saw in it were not kind in the slightest. They all seem to hate the shit out of it. Which is a little sad, but at the same time, yeah, it's what it is. You shouldn't make such a great game. Because you'll never get to make another one ever again. How are the outer track guards not clean? Seriously. There's, there's barely a speck on them. That last cat armor isn't clean here either. Guaranteed citizenship. I have, I have lost. I think they could be a little nicer with the cleaning percentage. I feel like I've cleaned this thing pretty well, but the video game apparently disagrees with me. Vehemently. Service guarantees citizenship. How are you not clean? Come on, you must be clean. You must be clean. There you go. Count structure? Uh, no, remember not. It reminds me of a side story from Girls in Panzer, where the maintenance crew bitch over German tanks specifically while taking it apart. Fun as fuck. Yes, Girls in Panzer is great. I love the part where they're showing off the uh, the Porsche Tiger, and they go like, well, you know, it's really heavily armored, it's got a great gun, but, you know, it's, it's, it's tracks break down, it sinks in the mud all the time, and it gets on fire as well. And as it, they talk about it, all of it happens in the background. And the Porsche Tiga was... The, the Porsche Tiga was not a good idea. Well, no, it, it was a good idea. Like, it, it was, because the, the Tiger 1 was a, was a kind of a, kind of a great idea. Sort of, kind of, in a way. Although, again, somewhat, you know, not really. As they should just have built way more panthers, really. But hey, details, details. And the Porsche Tiger was just like a... Dumber Tiger, in essence. That was all it was, a dumber Tiger. With lots of mechanical malfunctions. And a stupidly placed turret. Okay, I need like the wide nuzzle here. And I'll just calmly clean it off like this. Hoping that I'll get any dirt. A smudge left under the belt. That's real nice and smooth. Gorbs, have you burned the correct incense and recited the prayers of cleansing for washing that tank? If not, then that sounds like tech heresy to me. I presume they've taken care of all of the uh, correct... I have, I have lost worshipful procedures in the background. I mean, there really should be a team of tech priests behind me. Waving censors as I do this. They should be up there, singing. In fact, that would be perfect. They should, unironically, have like a bunch of tech priests in the background just singing hymns whilst you do this. That'd be fantastic. Lord, come into... Have you watched Girls in Panzer up... Il Ali. Oh yeah, absolutely. I watched Girls and Panzer. I watched the movies too. The um, what? What do they call them? The Final Encore or something like that. The movies are great too. Girls and Panzer is just fucking hilarious. I love the shit out of it. It is great, all of it. How are you not clean? Oh god, the tracks are separate. I was about to say what Eadley. The tracks are separate, aren't they? Yes, they are. Uh, 
uh, you really need some fucking deep cleaning shit in this. Ninety-eight percent. It's taken so long to get one percent more. And now I need a scroll kit here. Ah, slowly. Mercenary X21. This is peak 40k right up there with text to speech. Uh. Come on. Be clean. I've spent an hour washing you. Be clean. How can you not be clean? Alright. Um, I should have sail saved the fucking... Okay. Just... There! Finally! Good God! Right, come on. I have... I have lost... Dev has lost... Alright, come on. And... The other one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Become clean! Become clean! Become clean! Meet the exceedingly high standards of the Mechanicus, yes! Ah, oh, okay, that was not actually a sing even a single percent, but fine. Right, what's left? Outer track armor. Oh god, okay. Let's hope there's something on it. The toe ring! The toe ring's a separate fucking part. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll clean the toe ring. You happy now? I'm cleaning the toe ring, goddammit. All this talk about MILFs make me kind of imagine this as a clit ring. I don't know why. Right, this is the Land Raider's clitoris ring. Treat it with care or the Land Raider will shoot you. Which, to be fair, if you tried to power wash a clit ring, I imagine you would probably be shot sooner or later. Right, top armor is not actually quite clean either. Oh, track, track armor complete. Nice. I have, I have lost. Clean, 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 clean. Splice stream. What is the story behind the I lost alert? That was a, uh, a chatter, a little rat brick that thought it would be funny. Because Dev managed to say that during the stream. And chat likes it when Dev is wrong. And so it became. Dev is wrong. <laughs> Shit, I lost. And I approve of it too. It's funny. I like it. Dev must slowly but surely be taught how to take the joke. And to be fair, Dev already takes the jokes fairly well. But he needs to be forced to accept that he is communist. He must embrace it fully. He must call himself communist. Only when he has fully become what he fears can he be cured of his misbegotten ideas. Only that way may he finally seek peace and solace and rest in the forgiving arms of Arch, who is teaching him all of these valuable lessons and not even charging him for it. I spotted some dirt. Service guaranteed citizenship. God, of the level of clean we're giving here. I hope they go over this thing with a fucking tooth comb. Uh, tooth comb. What is the tooth comb? What is this thing you put in your mouth and brush your teeth with? You know, the tooth thingy, the toothbrushy thingy, the brush. It must have a name, surely. Tell me, what is its name? Toothbrush? Ah, toothbrush, duh. You combine the words brush and tooth. That makes sense now that I think about it. The fucking skid plate. Okay, clean the skid plate. So close. So close. So close. Oh. 
Oh, God. Okay, okay. Let's just get back up on her. Climb. Where's next to anyone? Arch! That might be orc spores in there. Get it all. That's true. If it's orc spores, that does require a pretty thud cleanse. Otherwise, the land raider is going to be pregnant and have orc babies, and we wouldn't want that now, would we? Ah, pregnant land raider. Now there's there's an idea. <laughs> pregnant land raider. Oh God. Why do you say these things, chat? Why do you make me think these things? It's bad enough you make me think of gay sex titles in 40k. Or imagining Dark Eldars in leather bikini armor. Now we're starting to think about pregnant land riders. And I need to get up there at a different angle. Can I perhaps put... Oh yes, I can, sorta. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> right, that's still not actually a great angle. Right, hold on. I have Just, I have lost. There we go. Use that one. The correct tools for the correct job. Okay. I think the outer track armor is the only thing remaining. It's just I have no idea. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. Assault hatch <laughs> frame? Oh no, maybe. There's some dirt here too. Each hunger for dirt. There. All right, outer track armor. God, where is it? Where is it? Where is Das Schmutz hiding? Schmutz? Schmutz? Schmutz and Zig? Schmutz and Zig. We must see the schmutz and ausrotten. What is it ausrotten? I forgot. Forget how to say exterminate. It's all in German. Schmutz and Sieg. There you go. Nice and clean. Come on, that's gotta be it, surely. Surely that's gotta be it. Sandoom says, if a Lamentous vehicle, it would blow up now. It probably would. Uh, to be fair, if it was a Lamentous vehicle, it wouldn't get this far. It would have blown up before it got to this point. Okay. This is still not done. Service guarantees citizenship. I must be missing something. I did see some schmutz and zig up there. Which is kind of hard to get at. Oh, that was a thing too. There. Uh, schmutz and zig. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, okay. Just... Get in there, get it all out. Get it all out. Oh god, I need to scroll again. Chat is very interested in this game for some reason. Help me. Uh, god, where was I? There. Not all Ferris, if... Is the Kadoshan version of a twink just a normal-sized dude? Probably, yes. Unironically. Come on, get the little... What even are these things? They're just little round things on the side of the vehicle. But what are they? What purpose do they serve? Nothing. We added them there as decoration so that we could get schmutz in them. Service guarantees citizenship. That is the Titan. Vulcan, do not boop the Merry Suicide Bomber. 
Eh, it's Vulcan, he doesn't care. <gasps> Finally! Fucking schmutzensig. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. And the skid <laughs> plates are still dirty. They'll be getting in there with the fine tooth comb now. The DC, uh, in order, how accurate is the tank size proportion wise? Um, it's close, but it, it needs to be bigger. Like, honestly, it needs to be, like, damn near twice as large, honestly, because uh, you can look at the assault hatch. The assault hatch would be decently sized for a human, but a space marine is going to be head and shoulders larger, so uh, it's they're going to need to bend their heads a little bit getting out of here, but eh, it's not too bad. Clean out all the schmutz and zig. Yeah. Ausrotten the schmutz. Ausrotten the schmutz. Ein Power Washer. Ein Wasser. Nein, schmutz. I highly recommend the movie, um. Guess Who's Back. In German, but I don't remember. What's. You did that? No, I don't remember now. It's about Hitler coming back. I know, it's a... It's a very interesting movie, and it's it's very 2000s -y. Like, one of the main things that the movie presents is basically, okay, Hitler returns just to modern-day Germany somehow. He didn't actually die in the bunker at all. In fact, he just kind of time-warped to our time. And... At first, somebody finds him and thinks like, wow, this guy is fucking dedicated to the bits. Like, he's really pretending to be Hitler. And so he brings him around Germany as kind of a, like a comedy act, basically. Like, hey, people, get a load of this guy. He thinks he's Schnitzler. And he used this to juxtapose him with modern-day German society, right? Where the Germans go like... Uh, so, some of them go like, I don't think we should tolerate Nazis, and regardless. And some other people go like, no, 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 the exact reason why we are better than the Nazis is because we tolerate even the Nazis. It's like, wow, that's a... That's a rare sentiment in this day and, light, day, day and age. What do you mean headlights? Oh, headlights, still I find that really fascinating, because back then, yes, that was actually the ideals of Europe. Like, the ideal of Europe was, no, no, we are better than the authoritarians. We're better than Russia, we're better than Nazi Germany, etc. We're better than all that, and we are better because we are free. That's why we are better than them. Not due to some kind of, you know, silly spirituality or some sort of racial superiority. We are better because we are free. I really like that. That was really actually cool to see, because I hadn't seen it in a very, very, very long time. It was a nice reminder of the fact that we, you know, used to be a decent civilization back in the day. But there is also a little bit of a warning in there, because of course, absolute tolerance will eventually be undermined by the intolerant. You cannot be perfectly tolerant to people who wish to be to intolerant towards you. Where's plan? What do you mean it's not clean? It's clean. Oh, it isn't clean. Never mind. Uh, and they do this by giving actual Hitler, which they still think is fake Hitler, a television appearance. And they think like, oh god, like we're gonna put Hitler on television and everybody's gonna laugh at him like, ha 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 Hitler, how silly is this? And he goes up there, and he's just perfectly quiet for the longest time. Because everyone sees him, and they think he's a comedian. Inner track armor 2. What the fuck do you mean, inner track armor 2? And they think he's a comedian. So everyone's, like, prepared in front of their television, and they're prepared to laugh at him, right? And they show you these clips as well, like the German living rooms. And as he stands there, in just complete silence, people are starting to wonder, like, what the fuck's this? Hey, what's what's happening? Is, is he freezing? Like, does does he not know what to say? Is he is he is he breaking the bit? What's happening? <gasps> Job fucking complete. Thank Jesus. Oh God, help me. 
<laughs> oh, really? You see a time lapse of it? That's cute. That's really cute. I like that. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like that. All dirt composition will be screened and logged. Good. Redemptor Dreadnought. Can I, so, can I... Can I use this money for anything? Power washers, equipment, clothing, cleaning liquids. Out of stock, out... Okay. But literally all of this, out of stock. Soap nozzle, short extension. Short extension, soap nozzle. Soap nozzle stuff. Uh, I, I don't know what the meaning of any of this is. Um... Prima Vista, 250 bucks? Well, I... I don't own that. No, I own that. $5,000? Are you fucking insane? Okay, well... Never mind. I can't afford any of that. But to, to finish my thought... He... He stays completely silent for long enough to draw everybody in. Ev Ooh! Dark Angels, huh? Deathwing. Deathwing Redemptor Dreadnought. Wow. You must have been stuck in the fucking swamps for a while, buddy. I hope there's nobody inside of you because, Jesus. God, I don't, I don't know if I feel safe uh, doing this. Until everyone is paying him their full attention. And then he starts speaking. And he just goes like, you think I'm a com like you th you were You were expecting a comedian, were you? Well, I'm not a comedian. I am your Fuhrer. And he gives them this really measured speech. He doesn't shout, he doesn't scream, or anything like that. And he just starts pointing out the problems with Germany. He starts pointing out the problems with employment. He starts pointing out problems with mass immigration, which was already back then becoming to be an issue. And he does so in just the most measured voice you can imagine. And this is at the point at which the guy who found him, who thought he was a joke, is starting to, like, pip her up and go, like, hold on. What the fuck is this? Like, he's... He's drawing people in. Like, he's charismatic as fuck. And it ends, of course, with him becoming stupendously popular. And in a twist that I won't... spoil here. But the point is, of course, that you cannot extend absolute tolerance to everyone because sometimes there will be intolerant people that are simply just going to be really fucking clever really fucking charismatic really magnetic and they're probably not going to have your best interest in mind even if they are all of those things Stephen Knizek if Norwegians made a Danish, would they call it a Nordish? No, we're not as, uh, you know, weird as you. We would just call it Horn. Which is basically the Norwegian version of a Danish, kind of. It sort of kind of is in a way, actually, not ironically. My favorite pastry, too. At Heron Tova Lady Columbia, Japan have a immortal have a immortal view on cheating. That's wrong. I'm not sure how to parse that. <laughs> Do you mean it's bad, or is it bad that they have that view? Uh, Miro has been a member for two months. Thank you very much, sir. Digimon is an isekai. It is. It unironically is. It absolutely is. A uh, bunch of teenagers get uh, transported to the Digiverse universe. Then uh, they found some Digimon who are like, Master, Master, use me for combat. And they're like, okay, weird lizard thing. I, I guess... And so they do! I don't like it. Digimon's actually kind of cool. Uh, Digimon is like grown-up Pokemon, I feel like. Which makes it infinitely better, of course. Adherent of Lady Columbia, although Japan discovered how to make eggs from male DNA, finally have the ultimate leftist baby by inseminating your eggs with dev swimmers. Aw, why is dev, dev being so bullied all the time? Uh, Burn Burnson asks, what is better, Netorare or Netori? Well, Netorare is a lot funnier. Like, when it comes to the comedy of the genre, that's definitely the best one. I love that one. That's funny as fuck. If it comes to the fetish, then obviously Netori is superior. Like, duh. 
Well, there's no question. It's all about circumstance and the type of, uh, type of entertainment you're looking for, you know? Uh, English Kriegsman, Helldivers are refusing the Pride Camps it means they can't claim victimhood. If they get team killed and urge the devs to ban them, made this comment on your video, uh, that you hurted, that you hurted, but sadly, edits remove it. Edits remove it? Do yeah, it, does it? Um, yeah, no. The thing is, too, I've been thinking about it a little bit more, and in a game with always online friendly fire, I imagine what would probably happen is, if somebody had the pride flag, everyone would look at that, and to them he would basically say, Hello, I am the infiltrator. I am the person ruining your hobbies. I am the person who has taken from you everything. Please don't shoot me in the back. <laughs> and very, very soon, everyone with a pride cape are just going to be complaining on the forums constantly that they're being team killed for having that cape. And people in the chat will tell them, like, they will, stop team killing me, why are you doing this? And they'll go, you're wearing a pride cape. That's basically a PvP flag. <laughs> and that's how I'll be treated. And then they'll start complaining to Steam and to the mainstream media, like, does Helldivers 2 have a hate crime problem? Incidents of friendly fire have increased by 10,000%. Our CNN reporter tried putting on the hateful pride cape and go into a match. He was instantaneously surrounded by 15 mound minefields and called a faggot to his face. Because you know it would fucking happen. You know it would fucking happen. And it would happen with a very good reason as well. Because yes, these other people have taken all of your shit away from you. Right? Right? Oh, they have different nozzles bound to different things. That's how that should work. I just didn't know that was how it worked. Oh. Sven Hagen, any thoughts about Last Epoch? Super Diablo-like. I have seen it. I haven't tried it. I'm tempted, though, especially since Diablo 4 was, you know, hot fucking garbage. Now, there is something weirdly satisfying about this, isn't it? Like cleaning it out, making it all nice and shiny and pretty, etc. And seeing your work as you go. It is weirdly zen. In the strangest of ways. Far too much work, though. God damn it. It's far too much work. I kind of hate this. My, I, I tell you, my brain is just fucking freaking out right now. Because... I'm trying to do this whilst I'm trying to think of a way to make this entertaining by rambling on about movies and TV shows and random shit. I feel like I'm playing the bunker again. Playing the bunker was genuinely a stressful experience for me because I felt like I didn't speak at all. Like I was just sitting there like, oh my god, the monster's gonna try and sex with my butthole. And I felt like I wasn't being entertaining. And when I feel like I'm not doing a good job streaming, then I get stressed out because I'm like, ah. Everybody's going to go leave and find something else to watch. And then I get sad. And then I get stressed out. And I'm, I'm getting the exact same feeling here, but for slightly different reasons. But yes, I have to... I, I, I should try Last Epoch. Because again, Diablo 4 was fucking terrible. Jesus. Oh, awful. Like, it's just a MOBA. So, it might be worth a try. Most new X21 need more Christ Christian nuns singing a tech priest. Yes, yes we do. For a moment there, I thought you said Christian nudes, and I was I, I was wondering a little bit. Needs more Christian nudes, and I started imagining the the dreadnought just covered in lost. naughty sisters. I guess pulling up their what do you call that weird thing they wear? Their Christian burkas. And I felt like it might not fit the setting, but yes, Christian nuns make far more sense, I agree. There we go. This one's way easier to clean than the other one, because you can actually kind of, you know, see where you're supposed to clean rather than the enormous fucking... Why is this second? Surely this should have been the first one. This should have been like the simple introduction to thing to be like, hey, learn the video game. Yeah, you give a fucking mandroid for the first one. Waterkvai says, So much, how long do you think it will take for one of Muck Clumps to be possessed by a demon? 
I feel like there should be a ticking timer in the background. That the game just doesn't tell you about. If you take too long to clean it, to clean the, uh, whatever the hell you're cleaning, it just eats you, you know? Working a little bit of a horror aspect there to really keep people on their toes. Give them that 40k feeling. Then again, I suppose it would be kind of, uh, you know, anti that whole, this is a mundane task that is more for send appreciation rather than screaming desperation part of the video game. It's like playing train simulator and then randomly adding in a monster that jumps out of the train tracks and fucking eats you for no reason. Although that would be funny. And I imagine the train enthusiasts would enjoy that a little bit too. Like, give it... No, seriously. Seriously, do that. Have, like, a long section of track in, like, Scotland or some other, you know... God abandoned shithole like that. Like Kenya. Kenya, Scotland, pretty much the same thing in my opinion. Hold on. I should try and use the. I should use the. <gasps> that is what it is! It's basically for. Ah. This is valuable. I shouldn't just spray this willy nilly everywhere. Well, nice to know. But yes, Scotland or some other shithole like Kenya. <laughs> Where you're just driving down the line, you know, you're passing through third world hovels, tiny little villages, occasionally running over the people raiding the fucking uh, railway lines for copper, you know, the usual stuff. And suddenly, a demon just kind of manifests out of the rails and eats your ass. Or you gotta run away from it and you can just see it in the rear view mirror and mirror coming for you. Oh, really? It'd be a good opportunity to really test the speed limits on the train and the tracks, you know? See just how fast you can go without derailing yourself. Maybe add in a passenger counter, too, where it's like you've got so and so many passengers on the train, and as the demon eventually reaches you, it starts eating the passengers one by one. How many passengers will you lose before you make it to the next station? That would be funny. That would actually maybe entice me to play a train simulator game. I swear, we gotta do like truck simulator for April's Fools or something. Something stupid. Macro plasma incinerator. That sounds new and dumb. I don't like it. Nice and clear. Most new texts. Oh, that was the nun ones. Yeah, the naked nun ones. I remember that one. I remember the naked nuns. Lord Commissar Spider has been around for 13 months. Thank you for your long term support, sir. I forget the key, but there's a highly dirt. Highlight dirt button. Also, how's the game, brother? There is. I have found the highlight dirt button. I am pressing it constantly because it's really useful. And I kind of wish it would just be. Those are some really terrible flames, flame spirits. I kind of wish it would just be on at all times, honestly. Actually, hold on, yeah, yeah. Let's get the white one here. There we go. So I could just see all of the dirt all of the time. That would be nice. Chuck Sneed, splash, 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 get clean, get clean, get clean, get clean. And you, you ask me, how is the game? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is the frame of reference here? What do I compare this with? Is this a good power wash simulator? Is this a bad power wash simulator? Is the power washing satisfying? I don't know. I have no I have no frame of reference whatsoever. All I know is that I've been washing stuff for almost two hours. And it doesn't feel like two hours, so that's good. Um, so, um, yes, yes. Uh, this is a good power washing simulator. That's that's my answer to that. Uh, Midriel, next DLC, the Great Clean One or the Mighty Warlord. Oh God, just add in like a Warhound Titan, and then just, just yes, yes, an entire Warhound Titan, and then just a single line on the objective. Clean it. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> so, well, you'll be here until Christmas. 
Christmas the next year thereafter, too, probably. Or an Imperator. Yes, an Imperator would be great. Especially if the ad in the Tech Priest that just hands you a broom and then walks away. Mm. Smiling at you. Good luck, Adept. <laughs> You, you, you ruined the tech priest's favorite pair of robes. He's come up with a punishment for you. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I would enjoy that too. I wouldn't enjoy the process of cleaning the entire thing, mind you, but I, I would enjoy the introductionary sequence before probably closing the game. Space Monkey 0899 message retracted, but thank you for the two bucks. Uh, regardless, thank you very much, sir. I have, and I have even Knizek, one hour's deployment, five hours cleaning. It does seem like it. I don't know why they keep getting this stuff so filthy in the field all the time. Like they're fighting a war or something, I don't know. There's an excellent one, Pregnant Land Raider. That's mild Dark Eldar erotica. My, a mild Dark Eldar kink. Just starts shooting out little mini Land Raiders. This thing, there must be a ladder here, surely. Because I don't know if I can... Is there a ladder here? Wait. Can I just walk off? Can I just leave? No. Okay, well. It's just a really... Ah, okay, so it's a really big place, and I'm guessing these are different cleaning stations. Alright, well, that makes a certain degree of sense. Um, do you have a ladder? Because this thing is kind of, like, tall and shit. No? Okay, well, I guess I'll... I'll just use this this tower then. Um, An extra long thingy bomb. But that Reeve guy says the Slaneshi corruption is starting to take hold of our Reverend Grand Revere Grand Inquisitor, Lohan Arch. Just a little bit. Just a little teensy witty bit. Johnson Smith, which primaries would be the gay would be gay together? Dog pilling. Which pri- Ah, oh, Primarchs would be gay together. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely Conrad and Vulcan. Like, I am pretty sure that at least during one of their torture sessions, Conrad decided to slip Vulcan a little bit of an extra, you know? A little bit of an extra visit, you know? Just, just a little bit, just see if he liked it. Just see if he liked it. You know, see if, see if both of them could perhaps bond deeper on a more brotherly level, you know? He probably vibed to a Vulcan's memory afterwards, because eh, that's, that's a bit extreme right there, but still, I, I bet you he tried. Just, just once. Just once. Now, the, uh, the cock sheath that he used might have been of the rather savage variant, but still, he would definitely have tried. Uh, so, John, there are fetishes for screwing cars, aircraft, and tanks. There is always more degeneracy. There kind of is. We humans are remarkable in our capacity to find things to want to put our penises inside of. Wait. Oh my god. There's a keep firing automatically button? I've been holding down the key all this time! <laughs> fucking shoot, Arch. Shoot, Arch! Oh, help me. Ah, oh, sweet baby Jesus, that is... My finger was starting to hurt. Accus Klein, I have this much. Is it enough to get you and Kibbs to watch the prologue of Gundam The Witcher of Mercury? It's free on YouTube. <laughs> I've actually I've I've already watched it. I've watched uh, The Witch from Mercury, the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. I watched the first season. I I couldn't be bothered with the second season because after the first season, I was I was quite sick of it. I so it, it's just not Gundam. It is it is just not Gundam at all. And hey, I, I don't mind the Yuri thing at all. In fact, I quite appreciate it. A little bit of good old-fashioned Yuri in my entertainment. I'll take it. Not a problem whatsoever. The problem is that it's it's not a lot of Yuri, 
and it's not a lot of Gundam. And so it just ends up as a little bit of Gundam and a little bit of Yuri. I'm like, wow. I'm dissatisfied by both now. This was a terrible idea. The writing too was pretty dumb. Where the, uh, the mean grumpy puss woman sees the other woman kill a person and she's like, Oh my god, you killed that man? How could you? I'm like, bitch, we're at war here. They're trying to murder our asses and kidnap all of my friends and kill people. Of course I'm gonna murder him. I'm not giving him the fucking blink, frankly. And they set that up as the whole big conflict. Like, how could you kill him? You squished him like a little bug. Like, yes, so what? And the school setting, too. Oh, God, why? Well, actually, we know why. The, the director actually talked about this, where he was listening in to some kids on the bus, apparently. And the bus, uh, the kids were talking about all kinds of random weird stuff that kids talk about, I guess, like their fucking Pokemon fetishes or Digimon or whatever, Anger Woman, blah, blah, blah. And they were talking about Slice of Life and Isekai and shit. And he was like, wow, they're not talking about Gundam. Like, Gundam's just not hip with the kids anymore. Literally. What? What's up, fellow kids? What's, what's popping in the hood these days, fellow children? And he thought to himself, well... I can't have that. I've got to make something that's hip and popular with L children. Like, what are the kids into? Well, lesbianism. Lesbianism and school shit. Yay! Ah, ah. Another fucking franchise ruined by current yearism. Current year childrenism, worst of all. God, it was terrible. This one was so much more pleasant to clean than the other one. It's actually kind of annoying. It does help a lot too that now I know that the the soap is here for this purpose. To basically finish off like the little dumbass bits that you couldn't see like normally, you know? Foot joint. What do you mean, foot joint? What do you mean your foot joint isn't clean? Your foot joint is totally clean. What's wrong with you? Harrison oh no, I only had one bottle of that? <laughs> you little... Ah, oh, absolute waffle face shit fuck. I had three bottles last time. Maybe they only give you so much, depending on, like, the size of what you're cleaning. What do you mean, foot joint? What do you mean? It's, what do you mean? I don't... I don't understand. What's dirty? Oh. You fucking pedantic prick. Okay. The underside of my foot joint is still a bit icky. Like, oh. You fucking dainty motherfucker. At the end of Lady Columbia, from what I've seen, it's okay for some percentage of the Japanese that is fine to cheat when dating, but not married. Yet they have higher than normal married cheating. I'm ready to drop the third. <laughs> A little third nuclear bomb, just to get them to compare behave themselves. Just a small one, this one, this time. Just a little hydrogen, just a, just a little hydrogen bomb. It won't even irradiate their country much. Shoulder, po shoulder pauldron. I think I would call that a shoulder plate rather than a shoulder pauldron necessarily, but if you say so. Oh god, those are some finicky bits. Those are some real finicky bits. I really wonder why they didn't give me a ladder. Still need to get the rocket pod, actually. How 
Are you not clean? There you are. Space Monkey 0899. Archcast suggestion. Tifa's on and off again censorship. I actually did a video about that, which uh, should be live now, I think. And it wasn't even on and off again and off again. It was three times. Because first, Squeenix uh, censored it. And then the fans uncensored it. And then Nexus mod censored the fans again. So, that was quite the... Uh, Quite the roundabout there. I wonder what Nexus Mod's argument about that was. It's like, we're gonna delete all mods that aren't inclusive. Okay. How is Tifa having... Not having a shirt for her shirt. Un-inclusive, exactly. Right. Well, you know, it makes people who don't have big tits and are ugly feel unwelcome. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe fat, ugly people should feel a little unwelcome. Maybe fat, ugly people should wonder about if, if there's anything they can do to be less fat and ugly. And as a person who's ugly himself, and also not exactly slim, I say that fully understanding the possibilities of what I'm saying. Oh god, the shoulder pulls. Hold on. Can I climb on top of you? I can! Thank god. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. For some reason, I presumed that I wouldn't be allowed to just, you know, climb all over the venerable battle brother, but apparently not. No, climbing all over him is A-OK. -okay. In fact, it is actually encouraged, which I wouldn't have expected. I feel like if one of his battle brothers wanders in right now, I'm gonna get fucking yeeted. Like, what are you doing? Climbing all over brother Titus like that. But he was filthy. Repeated bolter shots can be heard echoing through the, the workshop. I'm sorry, Space Marine, but your battle brother was pretty fucking dirty. Paris is the question. Fire is the answer. Is <laughs> about clean now? Mercenary X21. Someone please make a mod out of Christian nuns doing Latin hymn chanting addressed a tech priest above on the wall. Nuns are nude if not wearing habits. Habit! That was the name for it. Yes, thank you. So they would be kind of nude. Just not nude in the strictest definition of it. The strictest meaning of the word. Head sensors. Hello, brother. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, you know, try and like my way down here. Sky reek my way down. Oh, those were your head sensors. Okay. Macro plasma incinerator caps. What exactly is a macro incinerator plasma incinerator cap? Ah, those. Yay, that was way easier. That was actually, well, it wasn't. It took me about exactly the same amount of time, but for some reason that was way more pleasant. That was, that was way, way more pleasant. Look at that. It was, it was a much better job. Much, much better. I like that. It was much better. Sujad mask, lads. Uh, George, follow. You can move the scaffolding by pressing F. Space Monkey 089. Next, you'll tell me that they turned battleships and rifles into anime girls. They did, and warplanes too. And more. Rogal Dawn Battle. Jeez, there's more of this? There's more of this? Are you serious? Uh, Jonathan Smith, could or can Ogren be made into Space Marines? No, they don't have the genetic purity required to be turned into Space Marines. Simply impossible. And Rain Tanner, why are people surprised about the censorship? Well, I, I guess they just figured that, you know, the companies would be getting the fuck over this at this point, but no, no. They, they weren't. And anyone who thought that, why is all of this out of stock? Why? Like, I don't care about my fucking gloves. I want stuff. <sighs> okay. Right. Apparently, there's even more of this. God help me. I'm, I'm not continuing. My, my mind is breaking under the, the weight of the feeling of the bunker crushing down on me again. 
And here of Lady Columbia, I love that we have all this diversity and more inclusion, but they never get hot and tan brown chicks with shockingly sharp features and bob cuts. We don't have enough brown girls in entertainment, which I too find utterly disturbing and disgusting. We need more brown girls in entertainment. We really do. They are the heart and soul of so many, many franchises. And yet, we just don't get it. Ugh, okay. Officially, mind broken. I... <laughs> I can't see. I, I cannot... I cannot hear that noise any... That kind of looks like a smile. That kind of looks like a smile. Hold on. Eh. <laughs> ah, okay, that's enough for today. <laughs> I have, I have lost. Ah, uh, help me. Jaswick, uh, Taisago, Arch, and Ratbricks abandon Nexus. Make non-woke, non-ESG mods at base mods. Or Corp HQ, embrace greatness. That is a good point. Yes, true. And Charlie the Beagle, any chance you'll be continuing the Horus Heresy? Not in the immediate future. Ah, uh, there isn't. Not in the immediate future. <sighs> okay. If you want me to finish this fucking game, <laughs> it's gonna... <you're laughs> The bribe is going to have to be hefty. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> I can't believe so many people are watching I have, this. I have lost. God help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I need to kill something because I feel like my brain is about to fry itself inside of my head. I'm going to hear that fucking noise in my sleep. Good night, chat.